Hi guys, I'm starting on a project of creating a blanket for my youngest daughter so that we can have somewhere to kind of sit for during our story time or our circle time in the mornings. And I wanted to bring that ritual into our homeschool. But also, this is kind of like a two-fold project because I want to make sure that I continue to work on things that make me happy. And crochet and needlework is something that I let go by the wayside years ago and I want to continue uh, doing that and I want to to continue doing the the crochet and the knitting and not let that uh, just disappear from my life because I don't have the time so this is something that's this is a project that's making me focus on the handiwork and, and those things that Charlotte Mason often talks about and so I'm bringing that back into my home. So here's my ball of yarn, and I'm gonna show you in more detail in just a moment uh, what that looks like and how I'm going to make this blanket. So I'll be working on this project uh, a little bit at a time, and we'll try to, uh, I don't know, maybe just give little brief tutorials as I go along, but we'll see how it turns out. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to stitch quickly enough so that I won't drag this project on forever and ever. So. Anyway, here goes. I'm going to show you the ball of yarn up close and then how I get started with this project. So this is the blanket that, um, or the fabric that I'm going to be using. It's the Bernat Blanket Brights. And I got two of these balls for um, a discounted price at Michael's this weekend. And so I'm going to be using this and they're requiring the size J needle. I'm getting my instructions from this channel. I'll show you briefly. It's the How to Crochet a Baby Blanket, and it's by Yarn Inspirations, okay? Um, which is the brand of this, so you can look it up in YouTube. So I'll be following that um, guideline, those guidelines for how to create this. Okay, guys, so I just did my slip knot. Uh, slip stitch and so I'm actually going to it says in the instructions that I need to crochet uh, in groups of three until I reach 115 or however big enough I want my blanket to be so let's see so I'm not very quick at uh, crochet so there's one two and ah see how I am I'm really really rusty so that's three okay um, and then I have to look at it and say is this big enough and of course it's not so they recommend doing this 115 times for the size of a baby blanket or um, however long however long you want the blanket to be so I'm just going to continue until I get the length I want and I know once I get accustomed that's three once I get accustomed uh, I will go a little faster but like I said, I'm rusting right now. With crochet, I haven't done it in so long. And that's three more, and I will continue. <laughs> 